Hello, today I would like to share with you a project that I did uh, to a friend of mine. And the project he was asked to uh, motorize and uh, computerize his uh, aluminum saw. So basically, what he have, what he has, is uh, uh, two rails for the aluminum saw and the cutting blade and a stage or a carriage that travels along these rails the distance of travel distance is 4000 millimeters which is uh, roughly about 4.4 yards so what I have to do is to motorize and computerize the positioning of this limiter or stopper so you'll be able to cut so I set few requirements to the system one the distance should be turned from 0 to 4000 millimeters limit which is of course on the at end of travels uh, when the blade is changed at 45 degrees uh, there will not be a compensation uh, one meter one millimeter resolution and the accuracy should be better than one millimeter actually we get uh, 0.2 millimeter better than 0.2 millimeter and the servo motor so what I have here is I used I use uh, electrical cabinet and I put here a keypad and LCD with uh, 16 columns by two rows which we will look at this uh, in a moment then we have an on-off switch and an emergency stop switch and I used a motor a servo motor a stepper servo motor with encoder at the back with 1000 counts per revolution I built all this mechanism uh, with the pulley. I put did it on my lathe, the pulley, and uh, the pulley will drive a cable, a stainless steel cable, with a resolution, uh, with a, with multi strand to get flexibility and to get friction on this uh, pulley. Uh, what I did is did uh, the slot for the uh, for the cable very tight, about 4.2 millimeter the wide the width, exactly the same uh, contour of the cable, and I did it a little bit large, in order not to bend the cable too sharp. Uh, that's about it. So let's turn on the uh, system and we see uh, that we have 16 columns by two lines and we have the target indication and the actual indication. Let's uh, try to see the, how it looks like from the inside. So let's see the component. This is the, uh, the LCD. I have here a uh, three colors uh, LED R G B which are controlled through an Arduino Nano and this is the keypad. We have here the emergency switch and the on off switch. This is the uh, 220 lines. I use Teflon Teflon lines for the 220. This is the motor controller and the power supply of 48 volts and two uh, fans which extract the uh, air to the side, to the side, not to the top in order to avoid dust which accumulates on the top and we suck the air from the bottom. Also I have here a 5 volt power supply which supplies the voltage to the uh, Arduino 
we have the power cable to the motor and the encoder input 45 input position the uh, wafer uh, oh, sorry blade position and we have uh, I put a jumper in this moment and we have the limit switch with our jumper at this moment and the intake of the air is from the bottom to avoid dice dust. So if we will put for example a distance of 100 if we put a distance of for example of 100 millimeter this will be a full one revolution of the wheel I put it here uh, a label here to note that the exact position let's ask for 100 millimeter and it dead on if I ask for 1000 millimeter it will make nine revolutions and stop dead on and if I ask for 2500 which is uh, 2.5 meters it goes to 2.5 meters 2.5 meters and 1 millimeter this is and 2.499 millimeters back to 2500 and 100 so you can see the system is very very accurate okay <clears throat> now there are several things that uh, I limit here in the software. For example, I limit the minimum distance and the maximum distance. For example, if I put 50 millimeters, this time will go to 50 millimeters. If I put 49 millimeters, it will write an L. This is to avoid crash of the carriage with the uh, so blade. If I put also uh, 3,000 and one millimeter, I'll get an L. But if I put 3,000 millimeters, 3 meters, or 3.3 yards, roughly, you see, you see that we have a red light while on travel. And when the uh, encoder counts, will be 3 million counts in this case, it will turn green. Okay. <clears throat> so we can set the distance over here, and we can clear clear it uh, what else okay once we have the 45 degrees I'll put the 45 degrees I'll simulate 45 degrees of the motor of the blade turning and I'll ask for example 100 meter 100 millimeter and you will see that the distance will not be 100 and there is a blue light indicates that we are at 45 degrees we are not the blade is not straight and we compensate it and we get only 96 millimeters if i remove the 45 degrees and i'll ask again the 100 millimeter sorry 100 millimeter then the system goes to 100 millimeter dead on <coughs> so uh that is basically, I don't recall if I said that uh, the motor is 8.5 Newton meter, very strong one. So when it halts, it will actually hold the stopper or the limiter of the sole. So uh, that's about it, roughly. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it. I'll uh, try to put the, uh, the code or to link the code for anyone who will uh, like to watch or to build such a thing and uh, if you enjoy it please give me a thumbs up and uh, thank you